There's about 3.7 million videos uploaded to YouTube every single day, and apparently one of them was dumb enough to get the creator sued by Nike. So, how dumb was it? Well, what if I told you the creator? He went to the Nike store, bought real Nikes, then went to a knockoff website and bought fake Nikes. Then, he switched the shoes, went back to the Nike store with the fake shoes and I'm assuming the real box, leaving him with the real Nike shoes and a refund, with the only out-of-cost pocket would be, I guess, $20 replicas plus the astronomical shipping fee to get them from China to the US. And I guess there was just one tiny problem with this uh, plan because the only reason we know about this is because he documented himself doing all of this, uploaded it to the internet for hundreds of thousands of people to see, and to make things even worse for himself, which he does a lot here in this video, as you'll see, he snitched on himself in 4K to promote this fake shoe website. So this guy has absolutely primed himself for a lawsuit, and if that sounds bad, it gets so much worse again. But first, let's take a look at some of the key moments in that video that landed him in hot water. And this video is cleverly titled, I return fake Nike shoes to Nike. Shocking. I guess the video became even more shocking when he actually got sued by Nike for the stunt. Well, let's see how deep of a hole he digs himself here. Today, I'm going to be trying to return fake Nike shoes to Nike, aka committing a crime. Just kidding. It's a prank. A total it's a social experiment. Please like the video so I can post bail. So he knew what he was doing, but I guess he didn't realize there would actually be consequences to his actions. Fake sneakers are getting extremely, extremely good, and to some people, they're better than the real thing. However, most quote unquote sneakerheads will tell you that there is no way reels and fakes are close at all. They'll go on, they'll tell you about how there's always gonna be something that separates the real from fake. Maybe it's the stitching, the quality, who knows? They're delusional anyways, it doesn't matter. What they don't realize is every real shoe also has these differences. It's because every shoe is made a little bit differently, and I mean, the child shops that Nike uses in Vietnam and China are overworked, so they can't be expected to nail every shoe down. And I mean, literally, I mean, they use nails and hammer shoes for like five cents an hour. It's not going to be Louis Vuitton quality. So with that being said, I wanted to see if me, Joe Schmo, were to go ahead and buy a pair of shoes from Nike and also buy an identical make and model fake pair and then swap the fakes into the box. I want to see if the Nike employees would be able to tell when I went to return the shoes. That is such a dumb challenge because number one, it's fraud. Number two, I don't think the store employees care enough. You would assume it just kind of goes, Goes, oh, the shoes are in the box. Here's the receipt. Okay, looks somewhat normal. Here you go. Here's a refund. It's not like they're gonna go, wait a second, only if they approve. And then suddenly that guy who like smacks shoes on TikTok and YouTube shorts, he just enters through the back curtain and then final boss music starts. And then you just have a standoff. Oh no, I don't know. It just feels weird. Now, sadly for Nike, that is just not a realistic outcome. I guess on the positive note for Nike, this guy documented everything. So that just makes it very easy for them to sue him. And he does so by bragging. Clearly, clout is a massive disease for a lot of people in 2024. So I stayed up really, really late, turned down all the lights and went on pandabuy.com scouring for the cheapest Air Forces because, well, you know, that, that's kind of the point. Why would I spend like a hundred bucks on a rep when I can go buy a pair for like 10 bucks? Because after all, cheap reps can be really, really good and you need to have caution. You need to be careful when you're out buying shoes because I could have hit your Nike store. I'm sure the Nike lawyers love to hear that. Now I just need the real pair. But I got my stinky, funky ass in the car and I got to Nike. But what do you do if you get hit by an influencer on his way to sell fake sneakers? Well, you're gonna need some solid representation and that's where today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan, comes in. Because insurance companies often lowball clients' claims and Morgan & Morgan will fight to get you your money you deserve if the unfortunate happens. So the firm doesn't settle for any lowball offers. Just in the past couple of months, Morgan & Morgan saw verdicts of $12 million in Florida, which is 34 times the highest insurance offer, $26 million dollars in Philadelphia, which is 40 times the highest insurance offer, $6.8 million in New York, which is 25 times the highest insurance offer, and $8 million in Florida, which is 24 times the highest insurance offer there, and finally $18 million in Atlanta. It only takes a couple minutes to see if you have a case, and the fee is absolutely free unless you win, which really lowers the risk because I know firsthand how expensive lawyers can be. But if this applies to you, you can start a claim with America's largest injury law firm in just one click by going to forthepeople.com slash Atozi. The link will be in the description down below. But without further ado, let's continue the video. I bought a pair of Nike Air Force Ones in the exact same size and color to show y'all if they're similar for 10 times the price. So let's check them out. Well, that's misleading. To me, it seems like the whole goal of this video is just to push his referral link in the description to this website. He's also being extremely misleading by saying, oh, it's a $10 rep because I found another guy actually buying stuff through this website and the shipping fees are outrageous. Because the video I saw, he was buying like two pairs of shoes and the shipping ranged from like 60 to $100. So 
uh, it's really not the bargain these influencers are really trying to make it seem like, but hey, they want to peddle it to people who don't know better because they're really cashing in on the referral links. And by now, quick disclaimer, if this is not painstakingly obvious, don't do any of this. Clearly, this will get you into a lot of hot water. So this channel does not condone any of this behavior. Just felt like I needed to state that very clearly here. Now, it's literally just an all white Air Force One, so that's why I'm not really surprised that the real one and the fake one are so close. If not, if anything, the fake pair is actually better for 20 bucks than the real pair for 110. I'm not even joking. This whole video was just terrible for him because he's trying so hard to peddle these fake goods just to make some money off his referral link, which clearly is not going to help his case. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to write on the back of the insole just like that on the left pair. Now, if somebody gets my shoe, it's gonna have my at on them and then they can hit me up and uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll give them their money back or something, I don't know. I'm also gonna put my at like under here, like right here, there we go. Imagine that's how I get caught, like an employee accidentally saw that I wrote on that shit or on the insole and they're like, why the f are you writing on the shoe? Imagine the way you got caught was literally snitching on yourself to sell fake Nikes through your referral link, but then he documents his own fraud. Do you have the Nike out? Hey, this phone was wireless. Um, maybe. Okay. Why? I would love to scan it. That way we can link this transaction to your account. Oh, I don't I don't have the app on, my, on this phone. No you can type in an email. It'll do the same thing. Just want to link it up for you today. Cool. Okay. That's good. Yes, perfect. $118.25 is going to go back. You perfect. can tap right here or insert or use apple pay so we did it we successfully gave nike our 15 dollar air force ones with no issues and if i really wanted to i could go buy 10 pairs of fakes 10 pairs of reels exchange them all and make 900 dollars before shipping obviously but you know what make sure you go down there and sign up for panda with my link for shipping discounts <laughs> I mean, to me, it just seems like he's basically saying, watch me commit fraud, and if you want to do it, here's how. I feel like as the years go on, we're going to see dumber and dumber criminals. So I guess this is just an example of when the infinite money glitch gets you sued by Nike. So let's check out some of the highlights from the lawsuit to see how cooked this man is, because from the looks of it, he's beyond well done. Some people might actually say congratulations. Because this lawsuit describes Fox, which is the last name of this creator, as a ringleader of an organized counterfeiting trafficking community, which is not a good thing to be called by Nike as they're suing you. That's probably terrifying. I can only imagine how horrified this dude is seeing a billion dollar corporation is actually suing him, and he is pretty clearly in the wrong here. But here's the preliminary statement. Defendant Even Fox is a social media influencer who goes by the alias CDAS. Fox brazenly promotes and sells counterfeit Nike goods on his various social media channels and apparently believes he can engage in this illegal conduct with impunity. That is not the case. Fox is a self-described four-year veteran in the trade of counterfeit goods and a content creator who wields his online influence to promote and peddle counterfeit goods to tens of thousands of social media users. Users. An example of that is here, Even Fox, how to buy items off Pandabuy, best guide updated 2023. It's not like he's really hiding it at all. He's really making it easy for the Nike lawyers here. And the YouTube link is here and the video is still up, but it continues by saying Fox is the ringleader of an organized counterfeit trafficking community based on Discord, where he and his associates operate Discord servers as marketplaces for reps or replicas, i.e. counterfeit goods, and provide advice and step-by-step -step instructions on how to purchase counterfeit goods from overseas. Fox also partners directly with overseas counterfeiters and service providers, such as the shipping agent platform Pandabuy, to promote their counterfeit goods and related services. Fox advertises on behalf and promotes these sellers and services providers through his social media accounts, often offering his followers promotional signup and discount codes that contain some variation of his CDAS moniker. In collaboration with Pandabuy and an associate identified as Nick Tunenberg, Fox has also launched a website called W2C.net, which contains a curated collection of hundreds of counterfeit Nike branded goods offered via Pandabuy. Fox also provides Pandabuy links and purchasing instructions on his website, cdaz.net and cdazfinds.com. Rather than attempt to hide his illegal activities, Fox openly flaunts his US trademark and counterfeiting laws, documenting his misdeeds on social media. Fox's videos depict him flaunting and reviewing his latest hauls of counterfeit goods, detailing counterfeit products he intends to sell or give away to his followers, providing feedback to his suppliers and partners on the quality of counterfeit goods and related services, providing his viewers detailed instructions on how to cop 
their own counterfeit goods from overseas and encouraging viewers to use special discount codes on his counterfeit goods websites as he is partnered with, which enable him to profit directly from his illegal promotion of counterfeit trafficking and his partnership with counterfeiters. Fox's intentional deception of actual and prospective Nike customers has harmed and continues to harm Nike's goodwill and reputation. Fox's open and notorious misconduct exposes Nike to significant additional harm. His social media content has already inspired multiple copycats who seek to replicate Fox's misdeeds and public stunts in social media posts, thereby compounding the harm caused to Nike's goodwill and reputation. So that's bad, but it's going to get worse for him because apparently they caught him selling these counterfeit Nike shoes in other instances than the video where he snitched on himself. And you can see these images here from his Discord. So apparently Nike's lawyers have been all up in his Discord. And here he has also promoted other businesses that sell fake Nike shoes. Then to make things even worse for himself, this dude also operates a website called WTC.net, where it seems like they curate counterfeit goods on Pandabuy. And their tagline's even the number one place for your rep needs. And unfortunately for them, <laughs> there's a tab where it says <laughs> meet the owners and it just shows the youtuber and his business partner who's also being sued by nike in a separate lawsuit but apparently nike uses an example from this website where they're selling fake af1s for 15 dollars, and the real shoe apparently costs 115 dollars. and here's another cotton 4k moment where he announces that this is his rep website and then he also announces that this website is a collaboration website with panda buy and this is just extremely stupid because these influencers are based here in the u.s and my understanding is Panda Buy is based in China, so there's not really that much Nike can do there. But clearly, they can make an example and ruin the lives of the Americans involved in this partnership. But then they mentioned the video that we watched. On July 28, 2023, Fox published to his YouTube account a video titled, I Return Fake Nike Shoes to Nike. Shocking, which depicts Fox returning a pair of counterfeit Nike branded shoes to a Nike store in Tampa, Florida. In the first part of the video, Fox displays two boxes of shoes. One he identifies as genuine Nike Air Force Ones and the other as a counterfeit pair he purchased from Pandabot. After comparing the two pairs of shoes, Fox states that he intends to attempt to return the counterfeit pair at a Nike store. In a later part of the video, Fox using his sunglasses equipped with a hidden camera records himself visiting the Nike Well Collective store in Tampa, Florida and exchanging the counterfeit shoes for a certain sum of money Nike later later deemed to be $118.25. Nike determined Fox's return transaction involving the counterfeit shoes was associated with an earlier July 15th, 2023 purchase of authentic Nike Air Force Ones that Fox had purchased in the Nike Well Collective store. And they can easily pin him to this because remember in the video, he used the Nike app so they can confirm they actually refunded him. What an idiot. <laughs> Again, I mean, he docu like he just did everything in the worst way possible. This case is going to be extremely hard to fight, let alone extremely expensive to fight. And then in the lawsuit, they show that apparently this video spawned a whole bunch of copycat videos of this viral video because this video, as of recording this video, has like a little bit over 600,000 views. That is such a modern concept. When would a fraudster ever want 600,000 people watching them commit the fraud? That only started to happen in the last couple of years. I feel like if you asked any fraudster throughout time, before the social media age, hey, would you want 600,000 people to watch you commit your fraud? They'd probably say, no, thank you. But I mean, hey, I, I guess at least the trash takes itself out now. But this is what Nike wants from all this. So Nike is respectfully praised for a judgment in order that Fox has willfully infringed Nike's asserted marks and engaged in counterfeiting in violation of blank, B, used false designations of origin and made false or misleading statements in violation of blank, C, violated Nike's common laws rights and Nike's asserted marks, D, infringed on Nike's asserted marks in violation of Florida State, blank, and engaged in unfair and deceptive business practices in the violation of the Florida Deceptive and Unfair Trade Practices Act. Two, a judgment and order in joining Fox and Fox's affiliates, agents, employees, attorneys, and all other persons acting in concert with Fox during the pendency of this action and permanently thereafter from. And then three, they want an order that Fox is required to deliver to Nike for destruction any and all counterfeit Nike branded goods, digital files, packaging, printed graphics, promotional materials, business cards, signs, labels, advertisements, flyers, circulars, and any other item in any of their possession, custody, or control bearing Nike's asserted marks. Any marks substantially indistinguishable, therefrom confusingly similar marks. So essentially everything behind him in his YouTube backdrop. And then four, they want an order granting an award of damages suffered by Nike according to the proof of the time of the trial. And then five, in order that Fox
Fox account to Nike for any and all profits earned as a result of Fox's acts in violation of Nike's rights. Six, an award of three times the amount of compulsory damages and increased profits. Seven, an award of three times such profits or damages, whichever amount is greater, together with reasonable attorney's fees. I mean, he probably made a lot from this as well. So that that's, oof. And then they also want an award of statutory damages pursuant to 15 USC, an order granting an award of punitive damages for the willful and wanton nature of Fox's A for said acts under the Florida statutes and the common law. And they want an order granting prejudgment interest on any recovery by Nike, an order granting an award of Nike's cost, expenses, and reasonable attorney's fees, and granting such other and further relief as just and proper. So I guess that was yet another episode of Influencer Films, Their Crimes for Clout. What will happen next? Well, I guess only time will tell. <laughs>